it's an audience fit for a rock star. Opposition leader Juan Guaido commands a loyal following in the battle for the hearts and minds of the Venezuelan public. Despite a court-imposed travel ban, he toured South America to drum up support for the opposition. It meant he faced potential arrest upon his return. But in the end, all he encountered was a legion of supporters. They threatened all of us who are here. You saw it, with prison, with death. And I say something to them. It has not been through persecution. It will not be through threats that they are going to stop us. Here we are, and we are stronger and more united than ever. Here we are, and we're much stronger than ever. More than 50 countries now recognize Guaido as the interim president. He has been able to unify a traditionally fractious opposition. Unlike previous opposition leaders who have been arrested or jailed, he remains free to continue his calls for President Nicolas Maduro to step down. Maduro hasn't publicly acknowledged his rival's homecoming. But he did choose the anniversary of former President Hugo Chavez's death to declare victory against imperialist aggression and to call out the opposition. Mientras una minoría alocada continúa con su odio, con su amargura, allá ellos. Ni les paremos bolas, compatriotas. Vamos a pararles al trabajo, al estudio, a la unión nacional. A ellos ni les paremos bola. Que siga la minoría locada en su amargura. Los vamos a derrotar. Tenga la seguridad absoluta. Por Chávez lo haremos. Por la historia grande de la patria lo haremos. Venezuela's opposition is now changing its tactics to put renewed pressure on Maduro. Originally, it had called on the military to drop its support for the government. Now it's urging public sector workers to go on strike. We're going to build up the capacities to stop collaboration with the dictatorship so that public workers are not forced to cooperate anymore or be forced to do anything. So, listen well, we're going to do a staggered strike in public administration permanently. It's a bold move. These are the same people who are a key part of Maduro's supporter base. The president says he won't allow anything or anyone to disrupt the peace. No podemos caer en provocaciones nunca. Allá ellos que sigan con su juego de muchachos en sus provocaciones. Acá nosotros, la patria. Acá nosotros, el pueblo. With the government and the opposition committed to different approaches to end this political crisis, protests, not peace, appear a more likely outcome for the nation. Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers.